let's have some fun. You only live but once, but when you're dead, you're done. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Hello everyone, what is up? My name is Taylor and welcome to Triple A Digest. Now since the map for the Mafia 1 remake was released, this time around we wanted to give out details on Lost Heaven, its neighbourhoods and the different locations you'll see throughout your time with the remake. Let's get straight to it. So Lost Heaven has up to 1.2 million inhabitants during the 1930s. It's loosely inspired by Chicago, a bustling city with an active public transport system, working tramlines, busy streets, tall skyscrapers, luxury hotels and a lively shipping port. Although a beautiful city, Lost Heaven has its internal problems. Due to the Great Depression, the city's economy has been hit extremely hard and the lack of money and job opportunities has taken its toll on the citizens. Some corrupted politicians take bribes from the Mafia crime families who have most of the police force in the palm of their hands, making it the perfect home for the Salieri and Morello crime families who occupy different sides of the city. So there's changes from the original. In the remake, the terrain has been changed not only to make navigating these areas more interesting, but also to provide more vistas of the city skyline, which can now be enjoyed from much greater distances than were possible with the limited range of vision afforded by 2002 hardware. Lost Heaven's road network has been altered to an extent, new side alleyways and other shortcuts give you more options when you're attempting to evade the police, and corners and intersections have been built to allow for a smoother driving experience than you might have had in the original game. Hangar 13 also reviewed heat maps of players' driving routes to see which roads were being used most frequently during missions, and based on this data, the locations of certain objectives were changed. Every district has a distinct look, ambience, and are said to feel different depending on the time of day. Traffic is very active during the daytime and flanked by busy sidewalks and the smokestacks of working factories. After sundown, traffic is minimal, sidewalks are largely deserted and the neon signs of hotels and entertainment venues so easily overlooked during the day are now unmissable even from a distance. Now for the neighbourhoods. So number one, Little Italy. So the name of this neighbourhood comes from the migration of Italians, notably Sicilians, to the United States. It has gas stations, a large shopping centre and elevated railway stations. This location is where the Salieri crime family is situated. Little Italy is the home of Salieri bar where major characters from the family come to meet to discuss their plans to expand the Salieri family's criminal empire throughout Lost Heaven. They will often come here to consider their next move against Morello during the ongoing mob war and react to defining moments in the story. The busy streets of Little Italy is a location you'll see a lot as the majority of missions begin and end here. Number 2 Central Island. So Central Island is the economic centre of Lost Heaven. Interestingly enough, it's an island located in the middle of the city itself. This part of the city features 1930s style skyscrapers that house several major businesses. In the remake, the city centre has more high-rise buildings in keeping with those constructed during the post-war boom of the 1920s and 30s. Many important buildings such as the state capital and the municipal building houses the offices of city officials like the mayor, the city's politicians and other big players in Lost Heaven. It's also the location of the Lost Heaven art gallery, theatre and the only known police station in the city. Number 3 Chinatown. So Chinatown is a small neighbourhood located north of Little Italy and near the Terra Nova Bridge. Obviously in this neighbourhood where the majority of Chinese immigrants live and where Chinese themed stores and restaurants are located. Chinatown is more recognisable as a result of distinctive architecture and a population representative of the area's Chinese communities that was not as present in the original game. The West Side Tramline also runs through this area to provide public transport to citizens without vehicles. Number 4, Downtown. So like the downtown of any city, this district is another business centre, bustling with people, busy streets and thriving businesses. This neighbourhood is served by the city's tramline and by the downtown elevated railway station. The first national bank of Lost Heaven and the Corleone Hotel are located in downtown which will stage major missions in the game. Near the southern end of downtown is St Michael's Church, another portion of a major mission takes place here and based on the content of those missions it makes downtown a very memorable location, which also seems to be the new starting location for Tommy. Number 5 Hoboken which has been renamed to Holbrook. So this neighbourhood represents the slums of Lost Heaven, containing shabby, run down and completely closed up buildings. Although it's a poorer district, Holbrook includes some entertainment such as the Lansom Stadium that houses major sports events for the city, the Twister Theatre, some nightlife in the form of Pompeii Bar, the Palermo Club and Holbrook has an underground gun store belonging to a man named Yellow Pete who has a good selection of weapons to choose from. Number 6, North Park formerly known as Newark. So North Park is connected to Chinatown via the Terra Nova Bridge as well as to Central Island via the Giuliano Bridge. There are some important locations like the Lost Heaven Hospital, City Armoury and Pepe's Restaurant. Underneath the Giuliano Bridge there is an automobile repair shop run by an important mechanic called Lucas Bertone, an associate of the 
Don Salieri family and is one of the protagonist's friends. Although potentially the biggest detail is the rival of the Salieri Mafia family, the Morello family has its base of operations here in North Park at Morello's Lounge Bar. Number 7, the Works Quarter. So the Works Quarter houses most of the city's factories and other industrial facilities. It is the backbone to Lost Heaven's economy due to the port of Lost Heaven where major imports and exports of goods take place. It's used to serve as one of the Morello crime family's most profitable assets due to Sergio Morello's connection within the Dock Workers Union. Other important buildings include a central train station for passengers and the neighbourhood has its own fire station. The Lost Heaven racing circuit is also located west of the Works Quarter which is the location of a memorable mission to say the least. Number 8, Beach Hill which was previously known as Oak Hill in the game. It was located east of Lost Heaven, sitting on the steepest hill in the city. This is by far the wealthiest and most scenic place in Lost Heaven. It is away from the noise and the pollution of the city and boasts beautiful oceanfront views occupied by huge mansions and the city's elite, earning the neighbourhood the nickname the Millionaire's Quarter. Number 9, Oakwood. So another small and peaceful neighbourhood located east of downtown, consisting of terraced houses and small apartments. It is the home of the middle class. There is the small Oakwood church near the roundabout, the Oakwood Junior High School and cemetery are also located here. Oakwood is one of the few places that the Lost Heaven tramline does not serve. A car is essential to getting around here. Number 10 and finally outside of all the city's neighbourhoods we have the outskirts and the Lost Heaven countryside. That has numerous important locations such as Clark's Motel and the Lost Heaven International Airport. But that is it for this video. Best we can do with the footage we currently have. Per usual we have a question for you guys. What's your favourite district? May it be from what you've heard in this video or from your time with the original? Let us know. Big news coming soon but that's it from me for now, Mafia the Definitive Edition releases on September 25th on Xbox One, PS4 and PC. For more content, subscribe. I uh, mean if you want to. Goodbye.